Okay, so here you're given a redox question, and I think some of you didn't manage to do this question in class. So I want to very quickly talk about this. So here you're given what you call a disproportionation reaction. All right, it's a reaction where the same element is both oxidized and reduced. And you're asked to use ideas about oxidation states, explain why it's disproportionation. Now, this is very clearly a redox question. And recall, when you see a redox question, one of the most important skills is you need to know how to calculate oxidation states. So let's start by filling in oxidation states first. All right, now, chlorine here, so I decided to write it because it's a bit, my program doesn't allow me to do like subscripts, right? So it's Cl2O and HgCl2. Okay, now recall that when you have an element by itself, uncombined, the oxidation state is always zero. So chlorine is by itself. It's, it's not yet undergone a reaction. It's chlorine gas. So there is no oxidation state, zero, all right? And for HgO, okay, now recall, oxygen, most of the time is minus two, unless you see like hydrogen peroxide, where oxygen is minus one. So this is minus two. And right, mercury is plus two. Okay, once again, uh, the oxidation state of oxygen in most compounds is minus two. And this will mean mercury is plus two. Now the oxidation state of, so let's do chlorine, uh, dichlorine monoxide. Split compound into elements. Fill in oxygen first, minus two. Now in order for the overall compound to be zero, chlorine must be plus two. Now is chlorine plus two? No, because why there are two chlorine atoms here. So each chlorine atom is what? You divide that by two, you get plus one. All right, so just be very, very careful. The oxidation state of chlorine is not plus two, it is plus one. You want the oxidation state of each chlorine atom. All right, okay, watch out for that. And then we have, uh, so this is minus two, plus two. This is minus two, let's do a plus one. And put a two there. Now for mercury chloride, same thing, HgCl2. We know that mercury is plus two. Chlorine is minus one times two. All right, so chlorine is actually minus one. How do we know this? It's in group seven. Okay, now, uh, so filling oxidation states, this is plus two, minus one, and two. Now let's compare oxidation states. Okay, so now chlorine goes from zero to plus one. At the same time, chlorine also goes from zero to minus one. So notice how the oxidation state both increases and decreases. If oxidation state increases, it is oxidized. If it decreases, it is reduced. Remember the word SHU? S-H-O-E. S stands for oxidation state. Plus, minus, plus, minus, oxidize. Minus, plus, minus, plus, reduce. Okay, once again, S stands for oxidation state. H for hydrogen. O for oxygen. E for electrons. If oxidation state increases, it is oxidized. If oxidation state decreases, it is reduced. All right, so notice how chlorine is oxidized to Cl2O. Chlorine is reduced to HgCl2. And why? Because the oxidation state increases and decreases. How do you phrase your answer? I've typed it out here. So chlorine is oxidized, right? How do we know that? Sorry, change color. Oxidized. How do you know that? Oxidation state of chlorine, always the name of the element, increases from number in reactant to number in product. At the same time, chlorine is also reduced. Why? Because the oxidation state of chlorine decreases from 0 to minus 1. All right. Now, a few common mistakes. Please do not write it increases from 0 in Cl2 to plus 1 in Cl2O. Now, what is this it? All right. Or chlorine increases. All wrong. Must write oxidation state of chlorine. This it could be what? The money, the friends. What? What is it? So the oxidation state of chlorine increases. The oxidation state of chlorine decreases. All right. Okay. So that is for part one. Now, part two is equally interesting. You're asked to identify both the oxidizing and reducing agent for this reaction. All right, okay? Now, so remember the oxidizing agent is a substance that oxidizes other people. The reducing agent is a substance that reduces the other substance. So let's take one step back again. Huh? Chlorine is oxidized. Now, when chlorine is by itself, if I give you a, a, a gas jar of chlorine, nothing happens. You can put it in your pocket. 
come back next week, still chlorine. However, when it reacts with mercury oxide, HGO, it gets oxidized. So in this case, HGO is what you call the oxidizing agent. Likewise, all right, chlorine is also reduced. And it cannot get reduced by itself. It gets reduced when you react it with HGO. And this makes HGO also the reducing agent. So it's a bit strange, but just watch out for that. All right, so um, HGO will both oxidize and reduce uh, chlorine. All right, so uh, I hope you had a good recap of redox just by doing this question.